This short video will demonstrate how to design a shear tap connection, which is also known as a single plate connection, in VA Connect. Let's get started. In this example, we will design a shear tab to connect a W16 by 36 to the web of a W14 by 90 as shown in the detail. Since this connection will be used at two different locations in the project, we will design it using two load sets. The shear tab in this example will resist both shear and axial load. VA Connect accounts for the interaction of the eccentric shear force and the axial load by following the design examples produced by AISC. Note, if the dimensional limitations outlined in AISC Part 10 are met, VA Connect automatically designs the connection using the procedure for the conventional configuration. Otherwise, the procedure for the extended configuration is used for design, which is the case for the connection shown in this detail. We will start out in VA Connect by adjusting the geometry of the connection. Selecting the beam, a W16 by 36 will be chosen from the shape database. In the material database, we will select A992 grade 50 steel. Next, we will adjust the thickness of the support to equal the web thickness of the W14 by 90 beam. And we see that grade 50 steel is already selected by default. Selecting the shear tab, we will increase the number of 3 quarter inch diameter bolts from 2 to see if 3 are sufficient as a first try. The bolts need to be 9 inches from the support for the geometry of the connection to work. Note that the shear tab is a quarter inch thick made of A36 steel with a 3 16 double sided fillet weld. The last thing to do is to set the beam offset to 7.5 inches. Looking at the project status, we see that the shear tab detailing is OK since the numerous detailing checks pass. We also see that the shear tab has an extended configuration. Now we can move on to apply the load to the connection. For our first load set, we will enter values for the dead load, the live load, and the wind load, which is in tension. Then we will create a second load set and enter the values for the dead load, live load, and the wind load, which is now in compression. With the service level loads defined, we can go to the load case manager and select which building code we want to use for the load combinations that are automatically implemented. With the load specified for the connection, we can now turn our attention to the project status to see all of the lemon states that are automatically checked. Immediately, we see that three lemon states are failing. Clicking on the shear tab's bulk group capacity limit state, we can see the detailed calculations and view which load set and load combination controls. In addition to bolts failing, we see that the shear tab yielding slash buckling interaction fails, which accounts for the combined shear, axial, and flexure loads on the shear tab. Switching back to the model view, we see that increasing the size of the bolts and the thickness of the shear tab causes all the limit states to pass. Alternatively, we might want to use four of the smaller bolts with the thinner shear tab. Undoing our last two changes and increasing the number of bolts to four causes the height of the shear tab to also increase and all the limit states now pass. With the design complete, we can switch to the report view to easily create a report to document our work. The concise design summary is automatically generated showing the maximum unity values for each limit state. Also, information on the model and loads can be included in the report. Detailed reports that show the calculations for each limit state can be added to the report along with summary tables for each limit state that show the values of the various parameters for the limit state and show the unity values for each load set and load combination. In just a few minutes, we have used VA Connect to design a shear tab connection between a W16 by 36 beam and a W14 by 90 column. VA Connect also allows one or both flanges of the supported beam to be coped to accommodate beam to girder connections as shown in this detail. All we need to do is click on the beam and check the coped button and the program automatically copes both flanges. For a single coped beam, we can simply set the depth and the length of one flange to zero and modify the depth and the length of the other flange as needed. Note, the coped beam is designed to resist the shear forces, axial forces, and these forces combined. The limit states for the coped beam are shown in the project status. We can adjust the beam offset and the bolt eccentricity to more realistic values for the beam to girder connection. 
Now clicking on the Shear tab details, we see that the Shear tab has a conventional configuration since it complies with the dimensional limitations outlined in the AISC manual. For this case, VA Connect automatically sets the design eccentricity to 1.25 inches, which is half the distance from the bolt line to the weld line. VA Connect allows you to quickly design shear tabs to resist both shear and axial loads and to support beams with various coped conditions. VA Connect automatically designs shear tabs according to the conventional configuration if the dimensional limit states are met, otherwise the connection is designed using the procedure for the extended configuration. To try VA Connect for yourself, head over to our website and download the free trial.